Hey guys, what is up? Impulse back again today, and uh, I got a 100 plus for you guys. Uh, I realized I haven't uploaded a 100 plus for a little while now, so I was like, um, might as well upload a 100 plus, keep it keep it coming for you guys. And uh, today I got a raid domination gameplay for you guys, playing some ground war, and uh, I'm using the PDW, and uh, I think this is probably my favorite submachine gun, and one of my favorite guns in the game. Um, I find it's just such a good balanced, such a well balanced gun, and uh, it's just really good to use for going for like uh, high scoring gameplays and uh, like long kill streaks and stuff. It's very, very good in my opinion because it's got such a big magazine. Um, it's I like the feel of the gun, like to aim it. It's it's nice. I don't know how to like, explain it. Oh, and right here, um, if you ever need to like reload or anything come on this little ledge right here people never look there and uh, you can always like hide there and then uh, while you're reloading and then pick off a few guys if they come running by a uh, little tip for you guys but anyways like I was saying the PDW in my opinion it's like the best uh, or like most well-rounded gun in the game um, like some machine gun I guess because um, it, it's really good to use long range it doesn't have too bad of recoil like it's pretty manageable the recoil that it does have and uh, it's got a pretty pretty fast fire rate I think um, it's really good with um, extended mags. It becomes like a light machine gun pretty much because its clip gets so big it can hold 65 bullets um, in a magazine. Or you could run fast mags, which you could do too. But in this game, I'm using uh, extended mag as you can see and silencer, uh, which is probably my favorite uh, combination with this gun. Uh, definitely recommend that one. And um, yeah, I'm using that beautiful diamond camo as well. Um, my other favorite submachine guns, I'd probably say, are the MP7 and the MSMC. Um, other than that, I don't really use the, any other submachine guns like the Scorpion, the Chicom, and the the Vector. They are good guns for the most part, but I, I just don't like them too much. Um, lately, I've been using the Remington a little bit, the R870, I believe it's called, the shotgun. Um, I know it's such an annoying gun, and every time I get killed by it, it's I get so frustrated. And uh, right there, I actually call my VSAT uh, pretty close to the end of the round, but a little tip for you guys, the VSAT lasts for 45 seconds, um, and I called it in right there with 40 seconds left, so it's not too big of a waste, only 5 seconds um, won't count towards it, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, if there's any less than like 45 seconds left in the round, uh, probably don't call it in and wait for next round uh, in most cases. A uh, little tip for you guys again. Um, but anyways, like I said, I was using the Remington a little bit lately, uh, just kind of playing around with it, because I've been getting so annoyed with it dying from it, so I wanted to see what all the hype about it is with it, and uh, so I, I kind of tried it out, and it's actually such a beast gun. I've been having actually so much fun with it, um, but I don't know. I do hate people who use it sometimes, so I kind of hate myself for using it, but you know, whatever. I'm going to upload a few gameplays with that, hopefully. I'm going to go for 100 plus with that gun. Uh, I think I could do it pretty easy. I failed on one actually yesterday. I like died one off my dogs or something, uh, which would have been like the 100 plus dogs in Swarm for sure. But uh, I don't know. What can you do, right? So uh, I'll try and get like 100 plus with that gun for you guys. Um, kind of switch it up, get some variety going. Um, and yeah, anyways, I was thinking about uploading actually some Modern Warfare 2 sniping gameplay because uh, I know a, lo a few of you guys have asked for some sniper footage from me. Um, and in my opinion, Modern Warfare 2 has the best sniping, uh, or at least like the most fun sniping out of any Call of Duty. Uh, the intervention in that game, if any of you guys played uh, Modern Warfare 2, you'd know the intervention is such a fun sniper rifle to use. Uh, it's kind of like the MSR from Modern Warfare 3. It's like bolt action, and uh, it's really fun to use. It's like my favorite sniper out of any COD. Um, so I'm going to try and upload some sniping gameplay. Uh, I don't know, within the next few few days, within the next week, probably you can expect a Modern Warfare 2 sniping gameplay on my channel. Um, so you can look forward to seeing that, and uh, leave a comment if you want to see some sniping footage, because I can definitely do that. And uh, I, I think I cut out the last little bit of this gameplay, because I, fi I failed pretty bad on the 150 plus, I, I'd say. I could have easily had 150 plus, but I'd die like one off my dogs. Uh, like my fourth set of dogs, I die one off, uh, which kind of destroys my chance of getting the 150 plus because I completely choke after. Like right here, I have 100 kills and there's still three minutes left, and I only end up with 115 kills. So I completely choke and I can't do anything for like the last three minutes of the game. 
uh, which is so annoying because this gameplay could have been so much better. But nonetheless, it is 100 plus. I end up getting 115 kills, and uh, I die quite a bit actually. I get 12 deaths, so that's kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, so yeah, this gameplay is pretty much wrapping up. So if you guys did enjoy, please drop a like rating, leave a comment if you want to see some sniper gameplay, and uh, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.